Welcome back to another video with Mama Bear. Today we are looking at end rating and shulkers and how to do the most effective end rates. I hope I can give you some advice that you guys will find helpful. Shulkers spawn in end cities upon generation and they are never prone to despawning and they never respawn naturally. A shulker size is 1 by 1 block when closed, 1 by 1.2 blocks when peaking, and 1 by 2 blocks when they're open. Here is a list of items I feel you need for effective end rating to keep you protected against shulkers and endermen, and some optional items that can help you if you find an elytra. Pause this screen if you need more time to copy it down. A shulker will attack when you're within 16 blocks of them. With no melee attack, a shulker shoots a guided projectile that seeks out its target. Once hit, you will take 2 hearts of damage and receive the levitation status effect for 10 seconds. This is where good armor protects you from the hit and the fall. Here are 5 ways to help you if you get the levitation effect and have no elytra. Eat a chorus fruit and it will randomly teleport you up to 8 blocks away on the X, Y, or Z axis. Drink an extended slow falling potion. This way you can control your fall and land gently. Use an ender pearl, although you will take slight damage from the ender pearl. When you're hit, make your way under a block that has a short fall beneath you so that you don't take any fall damage. And the fifth one, if you're good and have quick timing, you can place a water bucket the second before you hit the ground. I'm no good at this, so I don't have an example for you. A shulker will open every 1 to 5.5 seconds to shoot a missile as long as you're in range, and any nearby shulkers will also join in to shoot. When a shulker is killed, they will drop 5 XP orbs and there's a 50% chance that they'll drop a shell. This chance increases 6.25% with each level of looting enchantment on your sword and maxes out at 68.75%. A closed shulker has 20 armor points or 10 shields deflecting arrows back at you. A shulker who is open has 0 armor points. A shulker's missile can be destroyed by attacking it. A shulker bullet can also be deflected by a shield. A shulker has 30 health points or 15 hearts. That's why it's important to have fully enchanted weapons with sharpness 5 being the most effective against them and your bow with power 5. There are a few reasons a shulker might teleport. If water touches them, if the block they occupy becomes anything but air, if the block they're attached to is broken, they cannot open, or if they are hurt. They have a 25% chance of teleporting away if their health is 50% or below. Here are a few tips to help you while you're raiding in the city. Use scaffolding to get yourself up the center of the tower. If you don't have any scaffolding and you're no good at parkour, just like me, then you can use blocks to fill in the stairs and make a spiral staircase up the tower. Another alternative is to make sure you keep getting hit with missiles to renew your levitation effect. Make sure that your armor is good so you're not taking damage every time you get hit or you're not going to make it to the top. If you find yourself hungry, low health, or just overwhelmed, use blocks and block yourself in. Eat, regenerate health, calm yourself, and then get back at it. 
Use the blocks to your advantage to hide behind and use your shield to block any missiles. You can shoot the shulkers and then hide and regenerate if you need to. You can also use the blocks to get catch the missiles as they will explode on the block and not hurt you. Remember to not look at the Endermen. Don't forget all your awesome treasure! When you find an end ship, be careful of ender pearling because if this would have happened and the void was underneath, that would be a bad day. Alternatives to ender pearling or blocking across to the ship would be to use scaffolding or blocks and make your way up to the bottom of the ship. Once inside the ship, head to the back to get your elytra and treasure behind the one shulker inside the ship. It's easy to negate fall damage in here because it's all enclosed. Don't forget your brewing stand and instant health potions. Your final treasure at the front of the ship is a dragon head. Make sure you put a platform underneath the dragon head so that you can break it safely and grab it and it does not fall into the void. This is the first time ever putting a dragon head on my head and I figured since everybody does it, I may as well show you that everybody does it. So here's me as a dragon. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and if you love, leave a sub. Bye guys!